Hi, it's Chantelle here from Fiverr Effect. Some of you know that I can't seem to help myself with starting new patterns, work, starting a new project well before I finished anything else that's already on my needles. I'm not a project monogamist. I have never claimed to be one. I never intend to be one. So the second that I saw that Boo Knits had this mystery cow going, I had to get on board. Um, I may have talked a little bit about it last week in the video on continental knit and pearl stitches, which I will put an I, there's an I somewhere up here. Click on it. It'll take you to last week's video. Um, in this week's video, I'm going to do some more of the stitches that are in the Just Be You Boo Knits Mystery Cowl. Now, I'm not going to be giving away any part of this pattern. I'm just going to be showing you some of the stitches that we use. So I'm going to be knitting on a plain swatch. I'm not knitting on my project. So if you want to get in on board, make sure you jump over to Boo Knits on Ravelry. I've popped a link in the doobly-doo down below so you can get in and have fun with me on this project. In this video, I'm going to show you how I make one right and left knit wise and make one right and left purl wise. So I'm not going to blather on anymore down to the knitting needles. Okay, so what I have here is just um, a basic swatch that I've been working on in the Andromeda Smoke, it's an eight ply. Um, it's the same yarn that I used last week for the other video. So what we're going to do is I've just knit, a couple of knit across a couple of stitches just so we're not sort of arguing with the edges as well as learning a new stitch. So in the instructions for make one left, it says make one by make one stitch by picking up the bar between the two stitches. So there's one stitch here and one stitch here. This is the bar. That's the bar there that we need to pick up. So the instructions say pick it up from the front using the left hand needle. So we pick up the bar from the front using the left hand needle and then we just get that yarn out of the way and knit into the back of it. Okay, I'll do that again. Just knit across a couple of stitches. Okay, so into the bar, we pick it up from the front. And then we knit into the back. And that's it. That's how we make one left. Now, to make one right, the instructions say we pick up from the back. So we pick up the bar on the left hand needle from the back and then we knit into it. Now I tend to just pull it out a little just so I can get my needle in because it's just a little bit tight and then knit across a couple and I'll do it again. So being careful not to split the yarn we pick it up from the back and then knit into the front and that's how we make one right. I'll do it again. Pick the bar up from the back. And then I just pull that down just a little just to make life a bit easier. And then knit through. And that's it. We've made one right. Okay, so now we're going to get across to our pearl side. Not often in patterns do we really need to do many increases on the pearl side, but sometimes we do. And in this particular Boo Knits pattern, there is occasion where we are requested to do some increasing on the pearl side. Okay, so I'm just going to flip over to the pearl side. It's like flipping to the dark side. Okay, so I'm just going to pearl a couple of stitches in again and hope I'm just I'm doing this through the um, monitor of another camera. So bear with me if it's a little bit, you know, hinky. Okay, so we're going to make one left pearl wise. Now to make one left pearl wise, we need to pick up the bar between the two stitches and then pearl into the back of it. So from the front to the back, And then we've got to pearl into it. So you don't want it there. You want it above that. Oops, that yarn's caught. Get over. There we go. And that's a make one left pearl wise. We'll do that again, probably with less drama. 
Okay, okay, so we pearl into the back. So we pick up our bar in the front to the back, then we scoop it up, make sure we're in the right place for purling. There it is there, pearl it. And there we've made one right, made one left pearl wise. Okay, so, okay, now we're going to make one right pearl wise and it is so much easier. Make one right pearl wise, make one right pearl wise, I can't even speak. So pick up the stitch from the back, through the bar from the back to the front, and then pearl it. So much easier. I'll do it again, because it's easy. Okay, so we have our little bar there. Can you see the bar? We pick it up from the back to the front, and then we pearl into the front of that. Oops, and try not to split your stitch. There we go. Now I'm just going to purl along to the end, and then I'll show you what they look like from the front. Okay, so you'll be able to see all our little increases because they just do a little twist. See the little twist? That one's one there, and there's one there. But unless you're really looking for them hard and stretching out the fabric, they blend in, which is kind of the point. I hope you liked today's tutorial on make one left, make one right in both knitwise and pearlwise stitches in the continental knitting method. This will be fun to put into a thumbnail and title. I hope this video helps you in your increasing journey, whether it be through the Boo Knits Just Be You Mystery Cal or any other projects that require these semi-invisible increases. Um, I really enjoy using them. Not so much the make one left pearl wise. It's a bit tricky, um, or at least for me it is. You'll probably work out some you've awesome way to do it really fast and be like, what does she know? Um, these are just, as I say in every video, this is just how I do things. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've got any suggestions for any other knit stitches that you would like to see me attempt or try, um, to show you how to do. Um, pop them in the comments down below and let me know which ones they are. If you want to see more throwing um, videos, make sure you let me know as well because I do tend to go automatically to Continental because it's my preferred knitting method. Don't forget to click like if you like the video. Please hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will see you Thursday for the Thursday live chat. It's time for you to fill your universe with fiber fun. Off you go. I'll see you next time. Bye.